What's up guys, it's Graves. And today, we're gonna answer some CFL questions. I'm gonna make this first video answer one question, and I'm gonna create a playlist so you guys can go through all the questions so that if I ever have to refer to somebody to, like, to answer a question that I they asked about the CFL, I can just be like, hey, go look at this video. I answered that exact question. So, with that being said, let me at least answer what's happening right now before we answer any questions. So, uh, right now I'm actually traveling from San Antonio, which is where I've been with my family, and I'm traveling back to Denver, Colorado. On my way to Denver, Colorado, I'm actually going to stop in New Mexico um, for the night and stay over and hang out with Don Carter. Don Carter was... Uh, a linebacker out of New Mexico Highlands. He was in the same conference as me, and um, he's, he, he's letting me, you know, stay there for a night, so I appreciate that, man. Shout out. So, the reason I'm going back to Denver is because the facility that trained me, that even gave me the opportunity to have a shot to play professional football, um, did so well with allowing me to reach my full potential that I, fe I felt that if I really want to get back in the CFL, I need to make sure I go to the people who, who got me to that in that shape, who got me in the best you know position to even perform at that level. So that's why I'm going to go return to Lando Performance and train with Lando, Lauren Lando, and all those awesome coaches. So I'm sure you guys will see future videos um, with Lando Performance as well. With that being said, let's answer our first question. What is the difference between the CFL and the NFL? That question could be answered with a lot of answers, but I'm just going to give you the things that stuck out to me. Um, in the CFL, the field is wider and the field is also longer than the NFL field, which means that you need to be able to run. And um, you'll notice that a lot of the guys in the CFL tend to be, gen generally they're all fast. Even you might even have some D linemen that are fast. I'm kind of like a hybrid. I play linebacker and D line. I'm an outside linebacker, which means I need to know how to run and I need to have motor and I need to be able to play special teams. And that's another thing in the CFL because there's actually only three downs in the CFL versus four downs in the NFL. What that means is in the CFL, we're looking for a lot of big plays. It's more of a passing game situation, which is good for somebody like me because that means that's more pass rushing, right? Um, so the difficulty for running backs is that, or I wouldn't say difficulty, the ability that required from running backs in the CFL is that you need to be able to catch the ball and you need to be fast, you need to be able to run routes. Um, the receivers all get to jump off the ball now that I've thought about the offense. So if you're a corner, you need to be able to cover a guy that's in motion, coming right at you. Next thing, D-line has to be one yard off the ball. Um, CFL likes to privilege, okay, I'm not gonna say privilege, but CFL likes to see big time offenses make big time plays. And they put the offense in the position to do that, even though they took away one yard, I mean one down from them. So D-line, you have to be one yard off the ball. What that means is that you need to be quick, you need to have a jump off the ball, and every step counts. If you have a false step in your D-lineman, that will cost you. Um, and it could possibly cost you a sack, you know, just because that one yard off the ball gives that old lineman that much more time to gain ground on you. So, that jump off the ball is definitely key for somebody like me. Uh, CFL, the goal post is on the goal line, and because of the three downs, I think I said that you need to be able to play more special teams. So, um, everybody almost plays special teams. I know in the NFL, they might have some guys that just start and then some guys, you know, play special teams. I'm pretty sure a lot of the starters even, you know, compete on the special teams. So, longer field, wider field, three downs, um, one yard off the ball for D-line, receivers get uh, a running start, um, and I think those are the main ones that I noticed. So, overall, if you guys want to play in the CFL compared to the NFL, you need to take account that if you're playing defense, if you're not D-line, you're going to need to be able to play um, defense, and you're going to be able. To, if you're a linebacker, you're going to need to be able to cover receivers and running backs. You just need to know how to cover because the game is going to be a pass game. Um, obviously, D-line, you need to know how to pass rush. You can be smaller. That's a big point. I'm an undersized guy for the NFL, playing defensive end, obviously, 6'1", 235. But when you put me, you know, as an NFL, maybe inside linebacker, I don't have a bad size. But at the CFL, um, I can play 
you know, defensive end because of my other attributes. When I say other attributes, all I mean is I can run and I have the speed um, to play special teams. And that's something that you're gonna need. So I think I answered that question. If I didn't, I'll add some in later on. But with all that being said, make sure you guys like this video. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment down below. Make sure you tune in. I make videos every Monday. And before we leave this video, this will be added to a playlist of CFL answers for all your CFL questions that I've gotten so far. So if you had any other questions, make sure you look at the other videos before you ask because I may have answered it. If it's in regards to the CFL, I'll probably make some more videos um, when I get to Don's house and then when I get to Denver. Um, so yeah, this is just a road trip and I might cut this up into little pieces. So yeah, hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace. Last but not least, make sure you enjoy the grind.